Hey girl, it's Andrea. Now, as your nutrition and exercise coach, you're probably pretty surprised to see me eating something from McDonald's, but I'm making this video for you for a very important reason. To show you that you can stay lean and healthy even when you eat meals from fast food restaurants. So if you've eaten anything from a fast food restaurant in the past few months, you need to watch this short three minute video right now. However, before we get started, I also wanted to let you know that I just posted a video that gives away my full nutrition plan that I use to go from this to this. So feel free to skip ahead at any time during this video to reveal my full plan. And if you've been eating a bit healthier and want to make the next step toward getting the body that you want, just click that, yes, I want my dream body button right now. Now, we all know that most of the options at fast food restaurants are very fattening. They have little to no actual nutritional value, and they're just overall unhealthy for you. And actually, fast food is one of the leading causes of obesity and health-related deaths in the Western world. But even though we know it's unhealthy, the reality is that it's almost impossible for busy women just like us to avoid eating fast food. I mean, I'm a nutrition coach, and there's still some times when I can't avoid eating fast food myself. And I know that for some women, avoiding fast food altogether can seem impossible. And I'm with you. I understand that you may be an insanely busy woman, and some days you just come home and you're just too tired and hungry to put any thought or energy into preparing that meal. That's why fast food is sometimes your best option to please everybody and to end your day peacefully, especially because you don't have to do any dishes, you know? And on top of that, if you have kids, it's very hard to totally avoid fast food, even if it's not the healthiest thing in the world. So with all that being said, this is why it's absolutely crucial that you know exactly which foods you should and shouldn't eat when you inevitably find yourself in a fast food restaurant. This way you can avoid blowing your diet and continue to making progress, even if you can't be the superwoman you usually are. All right, so this is a meal from McDonald's. Now, when most people think of an unhealthy fast food place, this is the first place they think of. However, if you find yourself here, you know, let's find some healthier options that you can eat. Okay, so first, right here, I have their artisan grilled chicken sandwich. Now, I've researched all of the healthier options that McDonald's has to offer, and this is by far the best option that you can order. And if you order this without the creamy vinaigrette sauce that this sandwich normally comes with, this meal comes to only 340 calories, 32 grams of protein, and only four grams of fat, and 43 grams of carbs. Now, you've got to admit that isn't too bad for a McDonald's sandwich. So next time you find yourself at a McDonald's, go with the Artisan Grilled Chicken Sandwich. Okay, now this is a sandwich from the second most popular fast food restaurant in America, Subway. When you're here, I know that there are a couple low calorie and low carb options that we all know about from the commercials. However, for the lowest calorie option, you can opt for the Veggie Delight Sub or choose to make your own sandwich into a wrap and lower the carbs even more. But again, if you're out with friends or family and you wanna have a meal that feels like a cheat meal, but it really isn't, here's how you can do it. So if you find yourself at a Subway, this is what you wanna do. Now what I have here is a six inch turkey breast sub on a nine grain wheat bread. And if this doesn't sound good to you, that's okay, because I'm gonna tell you the reasons why I choose this and other similar options that may suit your personal taste better. So first, when you're ordering your sub, you start with the bread option. And all the bread options have the good and the bad parts, but I choose the nine grain wheat bread because it averages out to be the best all around choice. It has 210 calories, only half a gram of fat, 40 grams of carbs, eight grams of protein, and four grams of fiber. So it's the best option with the lowest amount of calories, the lowest amount of fat, and a mid-range amount of carbs. And it has the highest amounts of protein. And just so you know, this bread is actually way better than the flat bread that they offer at Subway. How? Well, the flat bread is higher in calories, higher in fat, and lower in protein. So definitely avoid this specific bread when you're ordering from Subway. 
And here's a little neat trick that I've learned that you can use when you go to Subway. So look at what I've done here. I have asked them to remove that soft, bready part from inside of my sandwich. This way you still get the same great bread taste, but less of it. Plus, this way you can have more room in your sandwich for all that yummy stuff. Look at all that delicious vegetables, so many beautiful colors. So keep in mind that this will also lower the carbs and overall calories that I just gave you by about 30%. And it just doesn't get any better than that. Now, after all of my Subway research, I found that the best main ingredient option you can choose is the turkey breast. It has the lowest amount of calories and the highest amount of protein on the menu. So after they've hollowed out your bread for you and you've ordered the turkey breast, go ahead and skip on the cheese. <laughs> this only adds more calories and fat that you really don't want. However, feel free to add all those veggies that you want. Now, I know it can be really easy to make this sandwich not so healthy anymore with all the extra condiment options too. So all I've asked for on this sandwich is a little bit of salt and pepper, and this way you're not, you know, eating a boring dry sandwich, but it's still delicious and smart. So there you have it, my healthy pick for you when you find yourself at any Subway restaurant, a six inch turkey breast sandwich on the nine grain wheat bread. And with this sandwich, you're looking at 280 calories, three and a half grams of fat, 46 grams of carbs, and 18 grams of protein. Now, don't forget that we hollowed out that bread, so those calories and carbs can all be cut down, again, by about 30%. This is what I call a great meal option, when you just must have fast food. And I bet you're super excited right now. I know I was when I first looked into how I could eat healthier at these places. Okay, so Starbucks is the number three most popular fast food restaurant in the United States. We've gotta have our caffeine fix, right? <laughs> I know how easy it is to come into a Starbucks, get a quick coffee, and then you end up leaving with a triple mocha something or other with 2% milk and whipped cream and one of their baked goods out of impulse. Well, that's why I've decided to add this to my list of places I wanna help you make better choices at. I mean, if we're gonna be there anyway, you should know how much you're actually affecting your body. And more importantly, how to make better choices when you go. Now, after going through their menu, I discovered that Starbucks has actually made it quite simple for you because they've created an under 200 calorie menu. And this drink that I have here came directly from that menu. So I have a tall iced vanilla latte with coconut milk. Yes, I said coconut milk. They've only recently started offering it, and it's low in calories, low in fat, and it tastes great. So when you get this drink, you'll get 120 calories, three and a half grams of fat, and 21 grams of carbs. And with most of the drinks at Starbucks giving you easily the same calorie and fat content as a whole meal, you can see why this is by far the best option. So again, ladies, the most ideal situation is to not eat at these places at all. But I know life happens, and you'll often find yourself there out of just pure convenience or some kind of social situation. So my strategy for you is to at least have a plan and be prepared for these kind of places, because it most likely is gonna happen no matter what. You can start off slow by substituting these foods in place of the unhealthy options at fast food restaurants. It will make a big difference in a positive way, right away. And what's even better is that when you're suiting your diet to fit your lifestyle and not the other way around, it doesn't get any better than that. Because believe me, I know where you're coming from. All of this seemed impossible for me just a few years ago when I was trying to figure out all by myself. I was overweight, unhappy, and honestly, pretty lost and confused. Now, even though it took me many years to change my habits and get my diet right, I finally figured it out after years of trial and error. And just knowing that frustration, embarrassment, oh my gosh, girl, I don't want any other woman to have to go through what I went through, especially because I've done all the hard work for you. You see, the key for me was figuring out a way to make healthy eating convenient and simple while also keeping myself full with these delicious foods. I know it may seem impossible for you right now, but if I did it, you can do it too. You have my guidance, and that's something that I didn't have. 
so I know that you can do this way faster than me. So make sure you check out my presentation by clicking the button below. And once you click that button, you'll learn how to make eating so simple that the stubborn weight around your waist and your thighs is just gonna melt off your body in no time. And have you ever noticed how much easier it is for men to lose weight? Well, as soon as you click the button below, you'll also learn simple tips that will help you take control of your hormones. Because once you do this, you'll be able to retrain your body to work for you, not against you. And that makes it much easier to shed fat. Also, you'll learn easy ways to get you a tighter, cellulite-free bikini butt in less than 15 minutes a day. And finally, you'll get simple tricks that all busy women need to know to look and feel put together. That means no more looking and feeling stressed out for no reason, because these free tips are all about treating yourself right and enjoying your life. So I hope you enjoyed my tips today for fast food eating. If you want more like this and much, much more, click the button below right now and let's get started on the path toward the new, healthier, and fitter you. You have nothing to lose. I'll see you there.